今ほら本当に子供結婚しない人恋愛しない人結婚しない人子供産まない人が多くてただいまおかえりなさい本当に老人ばっかになっちゃうんで自分たちが八時行くの時にどうするんだろうってみんなそういう話してるんですけどありがとう。As a nation, and as people just going through their lives, the Japanese are often on the front edge of what the rest of the world can expect. From pop culture to technology, and the economic impact of shifts in population growth, Japan tends to tell us in its own way what is coming. Japan's population is aging faster than anywhere else on the planet. Post World War II Japan experienced extended peace and prosperity that led to a massive baby boom and currently the world's highest life expectancy at close to 85 years. Taking care of the older generations has long been part of Japanese family tradition, but young people are choosing career over family in record numbers. By 2060, 40% of Japan will be over the age of 65, and declining birth rates will lead to the population dropping from 128 million down to 87 million. This disparity leaves a huge gap. As traditions fade, taking care of the elderly of Japan is a looming problem. The rest of the industrialized world is beginning to see the same issues, but it is Japan that is leading the way to solutions. I set out to find some of the creative minds moving Japan towards new traditions of elderly care. Z-Works has developed a system of network centers designed to assist in the monitoring of elderly in homes and care facilities. Co-founder and CEO, Totsuyi Takahashi, believes the collected data can be used to predict and prevent many of the obstacles to good elder care and a healthier old age. Can you walk me through sort of what, what a typical setup would, okay. would be in terms of type of sensors? In the typical setup, we have a motion sensor, humidity, uh, temperature, and uh, luminance, and then also the vital radar that can take the heart rate and breathing rate. Combining those data in the cloud, we can translate those sensor data into the human behaviors. So it's not only about seniors' condition, but also how the care workers are doing the operation so that we can uh, not only prevent accidents, but also improve the efficiency of the cares. Tell me a bit about what, what does efficiency mean here? The care workers is uh, responsible for um, many seniors with just one person. They need to be on alert all the time. And then, uh, but at the same time, they have to do all the desk work and then other things as well. It's a very stressful job. Yes, it is. Being a caregiver. Yes, because right now, when people changes, uh, the plan also changes in the facility. So that yeah. it is very difficult for them to have a proper care. Okay, yeah. so it's not only, let's say, accident prevention, but the data collection plays a really important role. Exactly. So. Does this also mean that, that elderly people can stay longer independent and at home by using these technologies? There is definitely things that we can do um, to help improve the quality of life. Accident prevention is one small step. Another thing is that to detect the frailty condition of the seniors. So that's the borderline uh, where the senior is getting a little bit weaker and then when we can detect this moment, then the seniors can get back into the healthy condition. Mm. If we miss it, then more likely that the person can become bedridden. Thank you. Thank you. 
座っちゃったしあのそんであの病院生活を11日目で58歳で亡くなったんですよね。仏壇の前にに座っってて早く迎えに来てってねもうお尻に言ってるくらい調子悪かったですね娘があのカラオケでも習いに行けばって言うんでゆっくりね、うん、こうして生きられたの本当一1年くらいで死んじゃうと思ってたのが22年も生きられて舞台やってたおかげかなと。Most effective solutions are often found at the edge of experimentation. Yuichi Ochie, CEO and founder of Pixidos Technologies, has been exploring that edge, creating new ultrasonic tech, haptic speakers, leaked light field technology, and a fully autonomous machine learning driven wheelchair, just to name a few. When I was a doctoral student, I'm looking for the how to draw the graphics in the air. Put your hand around here. Yeah, yeah. So what's the commercial application of this?、Mm, actually, this one is for the like、uh, non-contact manipulation for like、uh, medical applications or、uh, space industry, and also it can be used for the haptic technology,、okay. like、uh, non-contact haptic balls. This one is、uh, like、oh, a sound hug. Yeah, sound hug. <laughs> yeah, this is a haptic technology. We are、uh, make it commercialized for like、uh, deaf persons to feel the、uh, sound. With the haptic feedback. Okay. Well.、Wow. <laughs> yeah. It, it is is now used for many concert hall or concert event. This kind of technology needs like a large experimental space. So here is one of the rooms we do the、okay. experiment. Yeah. Oof. That's a big door. Yeah. Because of the, it needs to audio absorptions. Okay. Yeah. So where are we? Here is a no acoustic reflection rooms. Because of that, we need to、uh, evaluate our product of the, like a speakers or these haptic device. So we have to evaluate with no reflections. Very spectacular. So、uh, going back to sort of the, the mission of、yeah. Pixie Dust,、yeah. uh, um, we we are looking at the healthcare、mm-hmm. aspects of that. So tell me what your vision is there. Yeah. Uh, we are looking for the, how our like, wave field technologies or this holographic technology can be adapted to solve our social issues. Our goal is、uh, how, to, how to merge this kind of digital information and the physical phenomena to optimize this kind of interface. How did you get to this idea? Of actually starting to build these centers? I had.、Um, my, my father has a、uh, uh, deceased when I was、uh, in high school, and then uh, um, he was、uh, hospitalized for several months, and then、uh, it, was, uh, it was not easy to、uh, mm. go to the hospital often, and then、uh, unfortunately, at the、uh, last day, I could not meet him. And then、uh, But、uh, when there are、um, things that could notify、um, you know, when, what, what is going on in the conditions, may, maybe there is a way to increase more chances to,、uh, for people to, to be at the last moment、mm. and so that they can say thank you. So, eh, to, m o t 父方の、えー、と祖母と、えー、祖父が住んでいましたおじいちゃんが先に亡くなりましてでおばあちゃんが一人に、えー、の生活になってそう東京での仕事が多かった僕があのまだ結婚もしてなかったので一緒に住むことになりまして
、で13年ぐらいですかね一緒に、まあ、その後生活することになるんですけどだんだんいろんなことができなくなってくる、えー、まず買い物に行くのが大変になってくるそれでトイレに行くのが大変になってくるでそれらのことを手伝いながらそれで<笑>。えー、おばあちゃんが、えー、もう4年になりますかね前に亡くなったんですけども<笑>で僕は少なくとも介護というものがどういうものかっていうのを、あのー、自分が携わってたんでよく分かってるんですよ。マイシン、founded by CEO Saigahara, aims to revolutionize the current healthcare model using machine learning. Analyzing historical data and generating predictive models, plus a unique doctor to patient telemedicine service, Zaijo Hara sees the potential of a bright future for Japan's elder care. Many years ago,、uh, for example, radiology data was, not, was stored on film instead of the digital data. So, what, what, what are your challenges with your data sets? There is a limitation. Of these historical data, and that's why there's a shift towards more on a prospective data. We are looking on the other modalities, such as voices, or text, and also combination of data set. Okay, so tell me a bit about the voice part. So, what, what, what is it that you can learn from the voice? There's a study、uh, based on the voice,、uh, including the tones or the choice of words. Uh, you can detect or predict mental illness. It's interesting, of course, because we always thought about audio and video as things to be watched or to listen to, but they now become basically data sets. Are you also able to track how a patient progresses through that? That's actually where our, that the other side of business comes in. On one hand, we provide access for patients to a medical institution, but at the same time,、uh, we are digitalizing. Data. So,、uh, patients input their、uh, symptoms as well as their healthcare data. So, on depression,、uh, for example, we are working on postpartum、uh, depression.、Mm-hmm. This is the num- number one cause of death for、uh, maternal women. What we're doing is we use healthcare、uh, data sets such as、uh, blood testing data and also、uh, the questionnaire data. The issue is there are too many. Data points. So that's where we use machine learning. でまあえー、と僕も今の,あの妻の千鶴子と出会って、まあ、結婚することになった時にここに、えー、と東京に、まあえー、と家と土地があってで、えーとまあ、新しく家を建てるんであればその介護をしやすいあの設計をした家をきちんとそこの中に作っておけば最初に。えっと、ここは両親がいずれ住む予定のフロアですねでここの手洗い場も通常よりも少し低くしてありますそれはあのー、車椅子で座っても手が洗える高さに一応ここはしてあるんですねあとバスルームもそのまま入れるように、あのー、バリアフリーに一応床は全てバリアフリーになっててはい。In the data world, and how to combine these kind of robotics. Very nice, very nice. Spectacular. How do you see this evolving both for Z Works as well as just for senior care in, in general? 
there is a limit on what technology can do. At the end, the human has to take care of humans. Technology can do all the sensing and uh, recommendation. There is a, a boundary where the technology can do. But right now, what we are doing is, is uh, way below the, the limit. I believe all these like diagnoses can be replaced by machines, but there still remains uh, this uh, uh, human touch. I would say it's it's getting more important. It's interesting to see how the, the, the physical and the digital world start to merge. Yeah, I see in my home, my child in the three years, he talked to the Alexa. And actually, that is more natural. Yeah, I mean, with Alexa, we've clearly seen that it's um, the reason why we're using keyboard and mouse and screen is because the machine forces yeah. us to, but it's not natural. Yeah. It's not a natural way of communication. Yeah. How do you call that? The audio that is only hearing in a particular space? Yeah. How do you call it? Ultrasonic focusing technology. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so why is that important for the wheelchair, yeah. for example? Uh, so the, like, uh, how to deliver the personal information to the like, elderly persons? Uh, more personal communication needed for like uh, making the password or go to go to the bathrooms. I think that this kind of natural uh, communication device is needed for the nursing homes or in home or kinds of things. Yeah, if you have ten of those wheelchairs in the yeah. same room, yeah, you don't want to <laughs> talk to each other. Yeah. Unlike <laughs> Taleb, <laughs> oh, yeah. So when I was working as a physician at the hospital. There are patients coming to hospitals facing diseases, or even death, with regret. They say they shouldn't have lived like this. Uh, had they known this could lead to this kind of like terminal diseases. So when I look at Japan, I think there's a shift uh, happening towards how long they live to more like how they live the life. And I want to eliminate this regret. Where do you see this going? Currently, lots of data is still missing. In the future, all these healthcare data will be uh, digitalized. And then as soon as this data is detected, you'll have feedback to live your life based on your values. Historically, here in Japan, often people stayed at home, had three family homes, right. yeah, where the younger people took care of the elderly. But I understand the, the changing demographic of mm -hmm. the population makes that much harder. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, in many cases, uh, the family and uh, the seniors, uh, their parents, live separately mo most of the time nowadays, especially in the city area. Mm. So um, the, when the seniors get older, they all also feel that they don't want to be taken care of by um, mm. uh, their children because it's going to be a kind of like a burden they feel. その
あのもっと家で介護できる人が増えるんじゃないかなと子どもたちの面倒を見てもらいたくないっていうのはありますよねどうなんですかね<笑>いずれはそうなっちゃうのかなって自分もだいたい来れる日はお母さん今日どうだったの<笑>運んでほら,ほら、うん、一緒に行ってねこれ見,見たほうがいいのかな、ね、欲しいものも。Elderly care facility,、yeah. all of the working population needs to work at <laughs> elderly care, which is impossible. Yeah, yeah. So, we definitely need the technology. I, I feel personally that、um, in the old days, the community and the families taking care of the seniors, and then that, I feel that it, that's a more、um, proper way.、Yeah. And I hope that in some way, we can, by using technology,、uh, help to create.、Uh, Uh, such community so that the people around can help each other and、uh, take care of each other, and there is no senior care necessary. In a country with traditions that are thousands of years old, pulling away from the past and the responsibilities that have been handed down can be a painful process. But it's the weight of those traditions, the deep cultural need to care for the elderly of Japan, and a certain sense of pragmatism. That has companies like Zworks and Mycene and Pixie Dust leading the way. No culture or tradition can completely withstand the test of time. But it is the core idea of those traditions that will light the way for these innovators and those to come. The idea that we should take care of each other. <laughs> no sound here. <laughs> no sound. <laughs> 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 <laughs>